and welcome back to another Touring Teacher Lesson video. Today we're going to be doing some maths. More specifically, we're going to be doing some reasoning and problem solving. So put your thinking hats on because we're going to do some extra out of the box thinking today. So first of all, what is reasoning and problem solving? It is when you think carefully about a maths problem, finding a logical answer. You think outside the box because these questions are not just about using numbers. Mm, very interesting. Now I'm sure you've probably heard the words reasoning or problem solving before. I know in different countries they mean the same thing but we just have different words for them. So today I thought we could go through a few of these problem solving questions together and then I might leave you to do some by yourselves or with the people in your household. I've already tried a few of these with the people who are in my household and we had a lot of fun. So the first one, let's have a look. Let's start with a simple one. What is the next shape and color? So you can see I've got three different shapes in a line in three different colors. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five of the shapes. So we're trying to figure out which shape is coming next and what color will it be? Have a think. You can pause the video here if you need to, but some of you might already be screaming the answer at me. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Correct, it is a red heart. How lovely. All right, let's move on to problem solving number two. Okay, I've got the same shapes, but I've added an extra color. And let's see what the question is asking us. It's always good to read the question so you don't just guess at what you're doing. Okay, what is the next shape and color? So we've got green, yellow, red, purple, green, yellow, red. All right, you can pause the video here and then you can try and figure it out and come back when you've got the answer. All right, have you got your answer on the count of three? One, two, three. Perfect, it is a purple triangle. Did you get that one right? I hope so. All right, let's do the next one. So this one here, you might have done something similar in your classes before where you use matchsticks or different sticks to create different shapes. Let's have a look at what this one says. So as you can see, there are some matchsticks in the middle and it's asking us, how many matchsticks do you need to make this shape of four little squares. So if you need to, you can pause the video and count up how many matchsticks there are. Then it's got a second question for you at the bottom. How many matchsticks will you need to make eight little squares? Now this one for sure, I know you'll need to pause the video because you might want to count it up or you might want to draw the shapes up on a piece of paper that you have. So pause the video here and come back when you've got the answer. Okay, hopefully you've had time to count up all the matchsticks. So on the count of three, tell me how many matchsticks you need to make the four little squares. One, two, three. Correct, you need 12 matchsticks. Now the second part of the question might be a little bit trickier. The answer is 22 matchsticks if you want to make eight little squares. Some of you might be thinking, what? but I just had to double the amount of matchsticks there were. Close, but the two matchsticks in the middle, when you're connecting another four, you don't need to add another extra line because you're just using two of the matchsticks from the earlier matchstick shape. Okay, here's a little extension for you. So you figured out how many matchsticks you need for four squares and then how many matchsticks you need for eight squares but how many matchsticks will you need for 12 squares? I'm going to let you figure that one out all by yourself. Maybe you can get a family member to help you as well. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we're moving on to a bit of a different type of question from the one before. We're going to be using different types of fruit to help us solve some equations. So on the screen, I've got two bananas and an apple. So what this question is telling us is that the banana plus the other banana plus the apple all together costs $5. Now you might be going, oh, how are we going to figure that one out? 
Well, I've been really nice to you and for the first one I've given you a clue and I've told you that the apple costs one dollar. So you need to use that information to try and figure out how much the two bananas cost. So just a reminder, both of the bananas cost the same amount of money. All right, have a pause, have a think and let me know when you've got the answer. Okay, what answer did you get? One, two, three. Well done. So if those three pieces of fruit all together cost $5 and the apple costs $1, then that leaves us with $4 left. So because there's two bananas and they cost the same, I just thought that one banana cost two and another banana cost two and two plus two plus one equals $5. All right, let's move on to our next fruity question. Right, this one here has got three pieces of fruit that cost a little bit more. We've got one strawberry and two pieces of kiwi fruit that cost $7 altogether. Now, the question is asking, how much do these pieces of fruit cost? Remember, the kiwi fruit both cost the same amount. So both the kiwi fruits cost the same amount as each other. Now, there are going to be different answers for this question. I want you to pause the video here and then I want you to figure out different equations to make these three pieces of fruit equal $7. All right, pause the video and I'll see you afterwards. Okay, I wonder what answers you got. I'm going to put up on the screen two different equations that I got for these pieces of fruit. Of course, these are not the only equations. You might have other ones that also equals seven dollars but remember your kiwi fruits have to cost the same amount so i've got one that the strawberry costs one dollar and both the kiwi fruits cost three dollars which all together equals seven and then i also tried the strawberry costs three dollars that's a very expensive strawberry and the two pieces of kiwi fruit cost two dollars each and all together that equals seven dollars so you might have had different equations. I wish I could see them. Okay, now we have three different pieces of fruit. And these are really expensive pieces of fruit because those three together cost $12. What the question is asking you here is to come up with as many equations as you can to make these three pieces of fruit equal $12. Off you go. Okay, how did you do? You might have a whole page full of equations making those pieces of fruit equal $12. Well done, guys. Here is our last challenge for this problem solving and reasoning lesson video. And this is a spicy challenge for you. This might look similar to something you've done before, or you might be thinking, what on earth am I looking at? Let me try and explain it a little bit. So you need to fill in the grids so that each column, row and box contains each of the four different shapes. So as you can see down the bottom, you've got a pink circle, a blue triangle, a yellow heart and a green rectangle. Each small box inside the big box needs to have one of each shapes. All right, but then each column needs to have the four different shapes, but also to make it even trickier, each row needs to have the four different shapes and they can't double up. So you can't have the same shape in the same column as another one of the shapes or the same row. So that's what the tricky part is about it. It is possible, I promise you. Some of you might have done Sudoku before, you might have done it in your classes, so it's a bit similar to that one. All right, I hope you guys have fun with that activity and I'm gonna leave you here. Remember, I've got lots of other lesson videos to help with distance learning and learning from home. So I will see you guys very soon.